Hey, it's the Reckless Retiree here. And uh, I am going to attempt to make some CO2 using baking soda, which I have in this container here. You can see this white powder in the container. That's baking soda and white vinegar. So I have the lid of that bottle, this bottle, plumbed in with a uh, check valve, otherwise known as a flash arrester. And I'm hoping I can pour the vinegar in and screw that on real tight, real quickly. And then the gas will bubble through my bubbler, just like the hydrogen did, and back into this blue ball. I don't know if you can see that, but you'll see it when I get up after I uh, start the process. So, wish me luck. All right, because I got to be quick. And it's going to be difficult to be quick. It's difficult to be quick. Did you know that? Well, I got to unlatch this thing. Since it's new. Okay. I just don't know if I can be quick enough. Okay. Okay, go grab the lid. And pour the finger in. And screw the lid on. Of course, I can. Okay, it's bubbling through. I don't know if you can see that. And then this blue ball should be filling. So let me move this. Maybe you can see it better. Now this partial canoe uh, that I made yesterday, you can't see it now, the partial canoe used to belong to my dad. And uh, my dad and my sister, and I'm at my sister's house right now, she ended up with the canoe, but then a tree fell on it and crushed it. And so I decided to cut it up, but she wanted the end to make a planter. So that's the end. The rest of the material is behind you. That's the canoe that's cut up into pieces. And uh, I used some of it to make hydrogen yesterday. Okay, it looks like my uh, rig already stopped making gas. So obviously this is going to be a uh, multi-step process. Huh. Okay, so I'll unscrew this and see if I pour more vinegar in there if it makes more gas. Yep. I mean, this works. It's just very uh, time consuming. Now I have another one of these barrels at home and I could fill it half with, half with baking soda, dump in half with vinegar or some other acid, and then I make a ton of CO2. But uh, unless you filled it up completely, you're going to get a lot of air. A I R, not E R R. So I need a better 
Better system, always, always could have a better system, always. All right, well, I really would like to fill this blue ball with CO2, but obviously it's gonna take a long, long time to do that. Shake that up a little bit more. I'm sure you, everyone's aware of this method of making carbon dioxide, if nothing else, for uh, school project uh, volcanoes. So, I wonder if I were to use a stronger base and a stronger acid if I would make more gas. I don't know. I mean, obviously, acetic acid, which I think the vinegar is, and sodium carbonate, which I think the baking soda is, is uh, the right elements or the right You wouldn't call it atoms. You wouldn't call it. I mean, it's it's a either each of those is a compound. I think you mix those two compounds together, they react, leaving another other compounds. In this case, carbon dioxide and whatever's left in the formula, which I don't know. My chemistry is very rusty. It's been years and years since I've had chemistry, so I just know it works. I know, I know it enough to know it works. Well, I don't know it's how much CO2 I have at this point. It doesn't look like much. I do have a lot more baking soda, and I have a, maybe a half a gallon more vinegar. So I can continue making it until I'm out of substances. It's still making it a little bit. I can see it bubbling a little bit in there. And if I were to unscrew the cap, then I'd lose whatever I have, but it's probably not much. And ideally what I should do is I should shut the valve that's going to the blue ball each time I change it out. Otherwise, the gas is coming back out again. Okay, so. I could try putting more vinegar in, and then when the reaction stops, then dump it all out and get more baking soda. I can't make any more hydrogen with my setup because my gasket that goes in the cap of that blue bottle is gone, is shot. And I imagine the heat from the reaction did that. So I'd have to at least get a new gasket, if not a new bottle. And I want a bigger bottle anyway. I'd like to have a bottle, stainless steel bottle with a ga silicone gasket that's at least four times bigger, if not 10 times bigger than that one. So I can set it up, get it reacting, and then fill up my ball in one just fell swoop. Okay. I'll get, come back to you in a little while. Well, I've used two thirds of a bottle of vinegar and three boxes of baking soda. And I've got about a third to a half of this ball filled with CO2. So, I've got to revise my hydrogen produ production vessel. And then uh, I can make some hydrogen, fill up the red ball. I really would like to fill up both balls completely and then try filling up balloons with that. So that's where I'm at. 